So, it's been impressed on my heart to speak to us just to get us to understand that God is not, in this season, in this dispensation, God is not looking for people who do too much. He's not looking for people who want to be extravagant with their service to him. For example, like, if you pray at 3 a.m. and that is your time, your special time with the Lord, it's not for you to be live streaming. It's not for you to be showcasing that, oh, see me, I'm praying at 3 a.m. Oh, the greatest man of God in the whole entire world. No. If that is your secret time with God, let it be a secret time with God. If you are fit, if you feel led to speak to people and minister to people, let you let your spirit just lead you. I believe this is a season where simplicity is key. Don't do too much, neither do too little. Don't be complacent with God and your walk with him that you lose your place, but don't do too much to the point where it becomes borderline pride and arrogance. In this season, it's important that we uphold ourselves with the utmost modesty in our service to the Lord. It's not about who has the biggest Bible. It's not about who dresses the finest. It's not about who prays at the most time. It's not about who worships and sings the loudest. Because that's one thing. I know that God has blessed many of us with voices to give honour and worship unto him. But I feel like there's a lot of gospel artists that showcase more of the talent of the voice rather than actually be led by the spirit so that whoever's listening to their music will be healed, will be delivered, will encounter Jesus, will feel the spirit of the Lord in their midst. This is not the season to be doing too much. It's not the season to be doing over, doing overdue. It's not the season to be going above and beyond to be sh to impress men. Because at the end of the day, our service unto the Lord is to impress the Father. The Bible says that we should work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling equates to modestly serving God. Being radical, yes. Being radical for Jesus, yes. Radical in the sense of you cannot keep your mouth shut about who Christ is and showcasing his goodness. But nothing needs to always be done in such a in such a massive and great way so you can be seen. It's not about you being seen. It's about the impact that you are making by the grace and the spirit of the Lord leading you so that people come to Christ. If you are putting content out there that is not edifying, that doesn't lead people to Christ, but people, you see people comment on us, oh, look at how she's dressed. Oh, look at how she's praying. Oh, look at how she's doing things. It's not about impressing people. It's not about showing off. It's about God. It's about the spirit of the Lord. It's about, it's about actually getting people to who, know who Jesus is. It's about moving kingdom advancement, moving the things of the kingdom, pushing kingdom advancement. Let's not get carried away.